Alright, this should be far enough from everybody that they can't catch me. Hey everybody, my name's Sonic the Hedgehog, and welcome to Ask the Sonic Heroes Chaos Court, the Valentine's Day edition. And guess what guys, total galaxy brain moment. Life hacks, superior brain cells right here. You all right, just... all right, stop flexing. Just tell them your stupid genius plan. If I host the episode, that means I get to ask all the weird romance stuff instead of having to answer the weird romance stuff. Am I a genius or what? Don't forget about us, Sonic. Hello, Mr. Sonic. Hello, everyone. Hi, hey, Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi. Hi. I'm playing Keith with this year. I'm asking sweet bumping questions to our friends throughout the month of February. Yep, we're keeping the love train going in a series of mini videos. So make sure you keep an eye out for Cupid Cream. I'm... Yeah, well, I'm Cream's bodyguard today, since she wants to ask some bad necks too. As long as we ask them nicely, I'm sure they'll have nice things to say in return. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bring my hammer, just in case. Uh, <laughs> okay, if anybody houses you guys, I'll be there in a flash to help out. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! Call you later, Sonic! <clears throat> Everybody, sound off! You died. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> he, okay? I think he saw Amy's adorable outfit and got a little nervous. Aww, how do you? Hey, everybody, it's me, Tails. <laughs> hey, this is Rouge. Sever the Hedgehog here. It's real nice to be here as always. Yes, this is Blaze the Cat, and I'm uh, here too. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm tuning in from the cafe at the moment. I'm trying to make some truffles, so if I disappear for a second, that's why. Uh, Omega, why is your screen black? Are you having technical difficulties? What, what, what? Wait a minute. How can I hear all of this? I already hung up. Omega, reporting. Omega? What are you... Is that your phone? It is built into my arm, Shadow. Of course I would not miss this. My fans await. Omega, no. The point was for neither of us to have to answer the awkward romance questions. You're ruining everything. You really should have thought about that before you buried yourself alive with an E-123 model for company. Shadow, did you really bury yourself alive to get out of this episode? This always backfires on you. Oh, shut up, Silver, like you've never had any crazy ideas like this. What, Sonic? <laughs> I knew this was going to get stupid fast. Right. Let's just get started. Can you guys breathe in there? <laughs> I cannot believe How this. do I unbury myself? From Moonrise the Artist 2023 to Tails, have you ever saved Sonic from drowning? If so, how did it happen? Also, you are my favorite character. Uh, thank you. Um, quite a few occasions it's happened, actually, where I've had to, uh, get my little toes wet just to, uh, pull you out. Sorry about that. It looks like it's a struggle every single time. Oh, well, I don't mind getting wet. It's fine. Between the both of us, you're the only one who can swim. It doesn't surprise me, given how often he ends up in the water at, like, full tilt speed. Yeah. Thinks I can run across the water just fine, but if I'm in the water, I sink like a rock. I don't know what it is. It must be something genetic. From Chaotic Dragon 8875 to Rouge, do you still have your car from Sonic Adventure 2? Or do you just fly everywhere now? No, um, that that definitely got impounded. I I wrecked she it too many it. times. Your license was revoked. You don't have to tell everybody that part, Omega. That was not part of the question. They want to know, do I have the car well, or not? It's part of the answer. Yes, it's not classified information. There was no red tape around that uh, one. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't have my car anymore. It's practically unrecognizable. I crashed it a bunch of times. I got my license revoked, and it was on the freaking news. Um, and, but also, I don't fly everywhere. I mean, I could, I'm pretty fit in the wing department, but man, that's a lot of work. Um, usually, I've, uh, I've got a chauffeur. I have said this years ago, and I will repeat it here. I am the whole car. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we take Shadow's pink Corvette, though. It doesn't always have, it's not always, uh, Omega's car mode. You mean the one with That's the Barbie on special stamp occasions. on it? That's on yeah. special occasions. <laughs> Shadow, are you a Barbie girl in a Barbie I, world? I am Knuff. <laughs> <laughs>
Evolved 4171. To my most favorite and the most awesome hedgehog, Silver, how were your living arrangements when you were dealing with Iblis? Well, thank you for saying that I'm your favorite, and uh, my living arrangements while dealing with Iblis was not the prettiest. Everything is always on fire, and you always have to avoid smoke, and it's, it's usually moving from one place to another. You didn't want to stay in one place for too long because the Iblis creatures were always like, they were just spawning everywhere. Heck, we could barely get any proper sleep. Shoot. Yeah, we were always on guard. That's really rough, you guys. From Autumn Blaze 689 to Blaze, I hope you're having a good day. I remember you once mentioning that your powers isolated you from everybody else when you were younger. So I was wondering, how did you manage to get over that? By yourself, or did you have a secret friend? P.S. You are my favorite character, and I'm sorry if this question is too insensitive. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I suppose it came in stages. I did not get over it myself. Uh, in fact, I think I was maybe at my worst around the time when I met Sonic and Cream. But how do you... How do you resist Cream's charms, I suppose? It, it was really her that started everything. She's really good at bringing people together like that. Cream and Vanilla have that kind of effect in everybody. Really good at breaking down defense. I didn't really want my defenses broken down at the time, I was busy. But I guess if I had to randomly land in someone's front yard, I'm glad it was Creams. From Jeremy Di- Jeremy! From Jeremy Dio- I think it's Jeremy it's Die. Jeremy Di <laughs> Di <laughs> yeah, from Jeremy Die 8196 To Maria, have you ever gone cave exploring? Well, sort of. It's kind of similar to what we're doing right now. <laughs> no, no, Shadow Omega! We're not going in that cave without a helmet, loadies. Possibly a bubble. You know, you're not going to Omega. Yeah, I'm with Omega. The only time I actually ever did that, that was during the Forces War, um, and we had to run in there so that we could hide from some of the robots for a minute, so it was just like me and Nicole and a couple of the other soldiers, and it was dark and it was disturbing. There's a lot of really narrow passageways. It wasn't really exploring, we were trying to find a place to hide, but it was scary, so, uh... I think if I was gonna actually do the exploring, I would like to have all the equipment you mentioned. That sounds like a smart idea. So, Mr. Uh, dig a hole in the ground and hide down there, how you doing? You, you think you're good for a question while you're down there? I can handle anything you can throw at me. From VN280. Hello to you all. My question is for Shadow. What do you think we will be doing approximately in 200 years? I ask because nobody really from your friend group will be around anymore in that time, except maybe Silver and Omega. And you're immortal, so you still will be alive in that time. And just thinking about it makes me sad. Why? <laughs> oh no! That's so I'm ready for anything, huh, Shadow? I was just making fun of him a second ago, now I feel really bad. <laughs> Thank you for your concern, VN280, and for your loving Valentine's Day question. In 200 years, I will likely be doing the same thing. I'm trapped here, forever. Please get me out of this hole. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> he still is gonna be in the hole. He's just in the <laughs> hole with Omega, that's lovely. You wanted us in the hole. I got us in the hole. You did not ask for an exit. Oh my god. <laughs> From Omega Fan to Omega, there's a lot of badniks on the show. How would you rank them from least destroyable to most destroyable? If we're talking about durability, let's see. Caterpillars, grass meat, no bug. You literally die to a jump. You, you have no durability. You are mass produced. There's nothing redeeming about you. Oh, come on. Omega, <laughs> those are my friends. Ouch. Oh. Uh, my, my little sprite's getting annoyed that I haven't enough done. Oh, his whole head popped off. His whole head popped off. I didn't do nothing. Um, uh, goodbye. Ah! Scratch and Grounder. You have the amazing ability to keep putting yourself back together no matter how much you die. You're your You're uh, Metal Sonic. How many times has he blown up, actually? Hmm. Sonic? Yeah, sorry, how many times have you killed this guy? There was that time on Little Planet, that little that time um, around Sonic 4 Episode 2, after he came back, there was that time in Sonic Forces, technically it wasn't really him, but kind of was. And there's all the different clones of him. If we take those clones into account, way too many times. And this is the doctor's right hand. Okay. Why is Bokun here? He's been on the show before. <laughs> he's a Batnik. Nobody remembers Bokun. <laughs> Aww. 
That is a personal uh, opinion. That is a personal opinion. Hi, Mokun, if you're watching this. Listen, you don't forget somebody who brings you a TV only for the TV to blow up in your face. Tails dolls. As a machine, I have no fear. But that thing. No fear. Tails? Is that you? No. Tails? Tails? Get a different hole! Get a different oh hole! Oh my god, get us out of the hole now! <laughs> I've got this! Chaos <laughs> control! Child, what hole Wait a minute. are you? Are you guys in another hole? Familiar? This one I did not get. Where are you guys? You were supposed to send me coordinates so someday we could dig uh, you up. Well, this is a problem. Concern. <laughs> this goes out to everybody. From Ruefelian Son 900. <laughs> Sorry if this sounds rude to everybody, but why do male Mobians not wear clothes but females do? Is it tradition, habit, or are the girls simply more stylish? What are you, Dude, talking, what are you talking about? I'm wearing, I'm wearing gloves and shoes. Exactly. Wear shoes? Yeah. Well, Silver got dressed up very nice today. See, look, he's wearing a bow tie. Right. As a machine, am I naked or no? If you, no. I guess if you want to be technical, you do have a skeleton thing on the inside, so you're close. I see. You guys are overthinking it, obviously. We're more stylish. I mean, like, Sally had, like, her cute little vest and everything like that, but it became more common for us to wear, like, a full outfits because, look, I'm beautiful. Blaze is adorable. Look at Maria. Look at her cute little sweater. We just have a little bit more interest in being fashionable. Right, ladies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But none of you are wearing Jordans. Uh, I guess that's true. I am not wearing any Air Jordans. Listen, guys, I got that one, two, buckle again. my shoe, three, four. Oh, Sonic, no. stop. <laughs> I'm going to hang up. Here comes the Valentine's themed questions. Wait, what? That wasn't Feels it? Feels good to not answer these. Feels so good to what not answer these. What do you mean that these. wasn't it? They're in a separate box, Shadow. The other ones we just answered were the normal ones. Those were normal? You'd be surprised. From Nintendo Brother 4783 to Tails. If and when the crazy adventures finally stop, do you think you'd settle down with Cosmo? Why do you have to say it like that? Everything's <laughs> fine. Because I see the stars in your eyes, dude. No! Remember, I'm your wingman. Uh, maybe? That's not a no. No, I'm pretty sure that was like a turbo embarrassed yes. Uh, so it's not a no. I was say, that was a maybe. What was the point of throwing the plant? <laughs> You afraid of what I might do? What the? Not what I was going for! I Shadow, know. I'm pretty sure Cosmo would never go for you, like specifically. I don't know, Cosmo. Next question! From Levi Connor to Rouge. Girl, you'd be stunning, be honest. How many requests for Valentine's on average do you get slash receive? Yes, I am a stunning woman, and I do think that that intimidates some people. Because I don't get that many, like, requests to go on, like, what, like, Valentine's Day dates. And also, I think maybe everybody's like, oh, yeah, I think she, I think she's busy with, like, top-tier men. <laughs> it's just, like, freaking knuckles. Whoa, what do you think about it? Whoa! I mean, as a singular person, as, a, as opposed to the large category of 500 top-tier men. I've only got the one. I'm telling you. Top 100 men, number one, might <laughs> knuckles, surprise you. Number two, Knuckles, number three, Knuckles on Tuesday. <laughs> number one, Captain Dread. That Dread guy is kind of nuts, but look at him. Down, bat, down. <laughs> Yo, she can fix him. You know, he's going a little bit nuts over a piece of treasure. I totally identify with that. Ah, uh, she looks like Knuckles is in competition with himself. Knuckles, fight yourself to the death for your woman. <laughs> This is getting weirder and weirder as we go. From Beth Roberts, 4259, to Blaze and Silver, for your future wedding, who would you have as your priest, your maid of honor, etc.? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Shut up, the both of you. Well, if we didn't have, like, the royal priest do it, like, do you know of anyone that <laughs> should go get, like, an online license and do it? <laughs> 
I, Omega's got one. I mean, I really he's, no he's clue at this point. like been in an Elvis outfit before. He makes it look pretty good, you guys. Elvis wedding. They're getting married hey. in Vegas, baby. I'm, I'm all shook up by that idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> they have Elvis in the future. <laughs> Elvis is my time, oh, son. Elvis, is, Elvis is forever. What are you talking about? If I have to pick a maid of honor, who's going to be your best man? I'll do it, Silver. I'll step up. <laughs> I would. I would be. I would be honored. Oh, I think maybe Maureen would never forgive me for putting her in the actual wedding party. I think Cream should be the flower girl. She's a little young for a maid of honor. I suppose uh, maybe Amy or maybe Amy. Were you about to say Rouge? I'd make a great maid of honor. <laughs> anyway, I think that answered the question. From Cold Teamable to Blaze, you or Silver, which one of you two are most likely to be the first to ask if they would marry them? This <laughs> Marriage again? This is the wedding <laughs> block. This is the, wedding, is the block. wedding block. Well, it looks like uh, Elvis Priest Omega is here to stay. I will get my finest robes. Okay. Unless Blaze beats me to it, I think I would be the one most likely to ask. Thank you. That's very sweet. Uh, well, Silver was the one who, like, asked about going out in the first place, so I guess that matches the pattern. That's true. I will be there with you to watch you suffer. Da -da -da! No, no, no. No. <laughs> oh, I thought it was no. the next question. I've really? never felt so free in my life. The power's going to his head. Sorry, Silver, we're gonna have to kill this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to kill this guy. Dang. From The Spectator 7 to everyone, if I were to make a chocolate-filled heart for each one of you, what would you like as a filling? And don't say something crazy like chili dog-filled chocolate heart, Sonic. Hey, I wasn't thinking Ew. that. Ew. That's wow, disgusting. you were called out. Chili in my chocolate? No, <laughs> come on. Really gross. So, guys, what do you want in your chocolate, huh? I like chocolate Coffee oranges. Coffee beans. Ah, oh, when your chocolate beans. orange is so good. <laughs> oh, oranges are fine, but coffee beans aren't. Strawberry. I'm trying to make my truffles here, and now I've got some ideas for fillings. <laughs> I don't know. I think I just really like them with, uh, like, double chocolate. So it's, like, it's just the truffle, and then it's got, uh, like, another chocolate on the inside. White chocolate or dark chocolate? Oh, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. The only correct option. Chocolate, the better. I'm a fan, actually, of, uh, chocolate marzipan. You like marzipan? It's delicious. Okay, you can have all of mine. I take it that's not your type. No. I'm feeling very... <laughs> chocolate vanilla swirl. White chocolate on the outside with like a mocha flavored uh, chocolate on the inside. How about that? Nice. Aw oh, man, I was gonna take white chocolate. I'm kinda in the mood for a white chocolate filling. Just white chocolate, white, white chocolate. chocolate? Yeah, white chocolate's great. Uh, hold on guys, I was taking notes, I was taking notes. These are all such good ideas. Whew, all right. Tails, you ready for some more normal questions now? Yes. <laughs> Your suffering is over, buddy. All right, Finally. let me get it up. From Mitchell Habercorn to Tails. Have you and Maria ever considered making vehicles like the Zords from Power Rangers and Super Sentai to help even the score when Eggman builds giant robots? Ooh, go, go, Power Rangers! I'm, su I'm surprised you haven't Whoa. done that. Do, 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 I guess I just haven't made them yet because I don't, I want them to be just as cool, but I'm worried that mine won't be as cool. Dibs on right leg. You what? Little nigga? Dibs on right leg. If we're doing the Zords, I'm getting the one that becomes a right leg. Why? For Voltron! <laughs> what? Uh, if we did come up with designs at least, Tails, like, what do you think the theme would be? Like, uh, the original Power Rangers, theirs was like dinosaurs, uh, and Voltron's got the lions. Okay, but all of them are hedgehogs. The hedgehog sword! <laughs> <laughs> but, like, what about you? Where's the fox representation? Uh, You're the head! Uh, You're the head! Yes! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> You're oh the one goodness. piloting, buddy. We yes! <laughs> We I'm could the make it a, here. We could make it fold into like a spin ball and we'd be very destructive. Yes. But for the forces of good. That would be so cool. From Jonathan Sava. Why are all the names so hard to read today? He's got this person included how to pronounce it though. Savicus. Savicus. From Jonathan Savicus. <laughs> <laughs> You're throwing me off when you were laughing. <laughs> From Jonathan. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> 
just making us laugh. Read the question. Ah. From Jonathan Savica, 7348. Taruj, if you had to choose a career outside of being a treasure hunter, what would you choose and why? And thank you for the pronunciation. I was having a very difficult time there. Maybe I'd be like one of those uh, adventure tour guide type people. You go out and see like dangerous new places and explore and make maps and stuff and like in order to pay for the whole thing you bring like a bunch of tourists along but i think i'd have to have a really serious vetting process because i don't want to bring along like a bunch of annoying idiots they have to be like you know adventurers in their own right so we can be like sort of a team but i'll guide them through some interesting dangerous place they give me tons and tons of cash and we all get to go on a nice adventure how about that the tomb raider world tour I like it. Oh, yeah, yeah, silver. Sonic Adventure Tour Guide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From Noah Hicks, YK1, YK1, YK1YYY, to Silver the Hedgehog, if you're there. And I am. I was wondering, what is going on with the future of GUN? Are they still around in the future? And if so, have you joined them? No. Well, okay. There was no GUN in my timeline. It, it was a free-for-all, basically. I'm not really sure what happened to GUN. They, they, they weren't even around when I was born. Yeah, everything just happened so quickly, I suppose that they just quickly just disbanded after the world bursted into flames. Yay! Happy Valentine's Yay, Day, Yay, they're all Silver. dead. Happy, Val Happy yeah. Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day! Absolutely Day. horrifying. <laughs> okay! <laughs> From Alina1622. To Blaze, have you ever had suitors before that wanted to marry you? Uh, uh, if not, if yes, how many? Uh, the wedding block is back. Hey, a Valentine's Watch Day question. All the marriage questions. Everybody, everybody wants Every to Every question for Blaze is like marriage. No, I'm... I'm busy right now. You don't now. have to get married, Blaze. Uh, not right now. Maybe someday. <laughs> but not to any of those guys. Well, I guess, yes, I have had suitors. I was so nervous that I couldn't really focus. And then I was worried my powers were going to go insane. There's, it's really weird. Have any of you ever had to, like, like, I don't know, like, speed dating or anything like that? You have to, like, sit down and try to find common ground with someone with the purpose of it being to, like, get married, maybe? It's awkward. I mean, marriage? No way. I tried that once post Megan Fox. I never really had anyone else other than you, Blaze. Hey, uh, asking for a friend, Blaze, were any of those suitors of yours, uh, good at digging people out of holes? Um, well, one of them was a mole, actually. Do you want me to... I don't have his contact information. I'm sorry. Just, you, oh, can't, okay. I can't believe Fine. you guys don't Let's even know where you chaos are. Control, they There's just end up in another hole somehow. There's only one who will suffocate, and that one is not me. <laughs> <laughs> this question is from Seraphy to Maria. Is there anything you miss about being human? Additionally, how hard was it to adjust to your hedgehog form? Davis Morris adds, "That's a good question. Hope it gets answered." Like, I've seen footage and heard the stories and everything like that about what it was like to be a human, but I feel like I don't connect to those memories in, like, such a personal way. It feels like it was such a long time ago, and I'm so used to the way that I am now that it doesn't really bother me. I guess I wasn't well when I was a human, so there was a lot of things that I couldn't do because I had to rest a lot. I guess I was pretty sick, so that was unfortunate. I mean, uh, it was nice being so tall, I guess. I mean, I look at the photos and I'm like twice as tall as Shadow. <laughs> and in terms of getting like used to my hedgehog form, I guess since I just woke up like this, everything sort of came to me naturally. There's some things that I can't really do that most of my other hedgehog friends can do, like the spin ball. I cannot figure it out. Hey, you just tuck and curl. I know, but it just doesn't work. I feel like I'm about to do like a headstand instead. Just believe in yourself. <laughs> it just takes some practice. We've been doing this since we were kids. I did sort of miss the developmental years of growing up as a hedgehog, so maybe that's part of why I have some physical limitations like that. From Tristan Nelson to Shadow. <laughs> How many people have you killed? What? Valentine's <laughs> Day. <laughs> 
My, wow, my favorite Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day type everybody. of question. What the heck? <laughs> well, Tristan, if you must know, oh my gosh, it's classified. Yeah, maybe he shouldn't be admitting to that on like a live broadcast exactly. Aliens. They were just incapacitated. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. From Troy Preston, 1998, to Omega. You're one of my most favorite characters of all of Sonic, and I love your action figure, and I want to know, what do you think of robot action figures in general? Show us your gallery, Omega! Show us! It's so cool! Omega do Omega's got, like, all these model kits, and he spends some time, like, putting them together. You have asked the right robot. So, so what do you think of uh, robot action figures in general? Really good, decent possibility, albeit limited, but you cannot beat putting one together yourself, like in a model kit. More possibility, more dynamic action, and putting each individual piece so you put your blood, sweat, and tears into the creation of it. And then the satisfying moment when you look at the completed product and realize, I did that. And I feel great. So that cool. tells me this nerd likes anime. That's our boy. So why did I get the why did I get the most wholesome question and y'all are getting these most dark and depressing? I don't know. Yeah, Shadow know. got a question about like how many people he killed and then like, hey Omega, do you like to build model robots? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody. Grip question from I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's okay. that's their name. And that's they got what a it lovely says. profile picture of Amy. <laughs> to everyone, what's your favorite Pop Tart flavor? Also, do you prefer Pop Tarts toasted or just eat it raw and straight from the package? You savage, you savage beasts. <laughs> I think either way is fine, but the mocha flavor is best. I didn't know they had a mocha flavor. They have a mocha flavor. S'mores flavored Pop Tarts is golden. Absolutely perfect. In every I'm way. on Team Omega. The s'mores I'm on Team Omega the too. That, that's a good. really good choice. Silver, were you saying uh, toasted or out of the package? Depending on my mood, I like both. Well, they taste good both ways. I don't have them very often, but I like the wild berry one. It might just be for the aesthetic, yes. though. It's like the purple that's... one that's got, like, the, the teal drizzle on it. That's my second it favorite. Does undeniably look cool. I usually just have, like, the strawberry one, like the most basic one. But if I can find them, I like the cookies and cream ones, too. Those are pretty tasty. Yeah, I like the wild berry ones, but I also like the, um... Uh... Just the plain old, like, cinnamon brown sugar ones. Oh man, those are good too. Hey guys, looks like we got more Valentine's themed questions for you. I already answered mine! I already answered mine! Show us mercy. Foolish Omega, why would I ever do that while I'm in this position? <laughs> I'll never have to suffer again! From Feligami, Audrey Zoe, Ryu Argos, Ryoko Noir, Sugar Sock, T.O.H. To Maria, what do you think makes a good couple work? I guess first you have to like, like each other as people. Like it can't be all about looks or anything like that because then gosh, what do you talk about? Uh, so you need at least some things in common and you have to like being around each other. And to really make things work, I guess, uh, you gotta be good at talking to each other so you can understand each other's feelings. But if you're able to be open and honest but nice about it also, I think that those things are pretty foundational to finding, uh, someone that you're compatible with. Uh, but gosh, what do I know? I'm pretty new at this. Those are good instincts, Maria. I guess I don't have all that much, um, experience either, but once you find someone you can trust, that's pretty important. I would say that communication is pretty, uh, key to building that kind of trust. I don't know, guys! They probably do gotta be hot, though! <laughs> oh, well, I guess it helps if, if you think they're kinda cute, but, um... Oosh, you're being embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow. From Xblades2145. For the Valentine's question, would you rather kiss Silver for revenge when he kissed you before the Wheel of Smooches was destroyed, or kiss Infinite for giving him a hard time with the whole marriage thing? I hate this question. Me too. <laughs> I love this question, because I'm not involved. I don't want to kiss anyone. No, oh, Shadow, come on, come on, come on. You got two options. You want to kiss this guy over here? Kiss one. Or kiss Infinite. One. All right, fine. I did have to kiss, uh, 
kiss him in his hand to seal the marriage. Why did you do that? How did how did he trick you into doing all of these steps? You're you're hopeless. <laughs> I thought it would help with taxes. With taxes? And you know did what? it? It did not. <laughs> Omega, question for you from Soundwave26. Have you ever gotten any cards or chocolate for Valentine's Day? First of all, Soundwave, big fan. Definitely you are superior, Autobots inferior. Second, uh, no. Oh, no. That's not true. No. Not even from your friends? Like obligatory chocolate? That's different. Okay, so you technically have. We, we, get, we, we have a chocolate party. That's completely different. We we share the chocolates amongst us. We get chocolate wasted. <laughs> we do indeed get chocolate wasted. Not to spoil anything, but I'm working on something for you, Omega. Uh, so hold on. You told me what your favorite was. I just need time. I will have my first. I'm not sure how to process this. Happy Valentine's Day! From Owen250T591. Question for the cast. Who, out of all the cast of Sonic Prime, is the most attractive? Me personally, it's Shadow. Also, to clarify, that's from that's from them, not me. Don't <laughs> take that out of context. Are you sure about that, Sonic? That very forward of you, Sonic. <laughs> I vote for Dreadnox. You're a simp! I vote for me. He's of course really you cute. You're a simp! I'm not a simp! I am not a simp! Look at him! Who are you gonna say, Omega? <laughs> Analysis complete. Alternate versions inferior. The superior, more attractive ones are the ones in this call right now. Oh. Ooh. How has this man not got lots of cards and chocolates? He's smooth. I don't know who I would pick for that. I have not seen the show. I haven't really been catching up with it. Just choose me. Easy answer. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll pick Shadow. I choose Sonic then. <laughs> cool. I don't want to choose the arrogant one. Uh, I think Shadow's pretty handsome in the show and then normally. Thanks, Maria. Well, I mean, obviously it's me. Oh, Tails, which one are you? <laughs> Mangy? <laughs> I've never seen that's the show, the I don't know. One. The only one There's I know is Nine. There's edgy emo you. Is that Nine? Uh, yeah, that's Nine. You think Nine's the hot one? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, that one. This is a strange question, but somewhat flattering, I suppose. Hey, Sonic, uh, well, throw us a bone here. Who's the hot one hey, in the cast? Look at all those hey, Amy's, I'm huh? the host. I'm not you supposed to, to do that. Anything? No. I think this is unfair. This, well, that's the whole reason. What's the point of me doing this if I <laughs> don't answer? You just answer the question. Oh, you answer the question. I answer group questions all the time, and I'm like the main host. Just give us one hedgehog. What do you got? That's Rouge, right? I mean, it's me, right? I mean, like, I guess the normal Amy was fine. Oh. Oh. Amy. You're choosing the normal one? No offense, Amy. I mean, if I gotta pick one out of all of them from the varied ones, I guess Black Rose? Oh yeah, she was really cute. The other ones kind of wanted to beat you up. Every other Amy tried to kill me. I can relate. <laughs> all right, you know what? I think Shadow might be running out of air in there. Maybe we ought to wrap it up. Oh yeah, yeah, I need to get you, you guys your chocolates now, You're I going think they're kind of cool. in there, so I think we're actually underneath Sonic. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> what? Hold on, let me get down to the let me get down to the ground over here. Hold on. I, let me listen to this. Sonic, you don't want to put your face that close to the ground. <laughs> I think I can kind of hear them. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Omega. I'm going home. No, no, come to the cafe first. I need to give you your chocolates. All right, Omega, I'm going to the cafe for the chocolates. I shall initiate car mode and we'll get there faster. Yeah! Time to get chocolate wasted. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Silver, why don't we go get Sonic and then go to the cafe for the chocolates? Good idea. Okay. Uh, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Yeah, I just wanted one Valentine's Day without question. No, well, nope. <laughs> it was no use, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Bye bye, everybody. Oh no, Cream! What are you wearing? It's too cute for fighting cooties. Reaper Kitty 918 asks Tubarine, do you have some sort of cootie 6 dream threat level plan in place for Valentine's Day specifically? Oh, I don't know. A barricade? And a flying rocket launcher? Maybe a net for Silver and Blaze? <laughs> Thank you, Marine. Good luck with that. Members 1831 asks, Two Tails doll, do you have a crush on Annabelle? What, you mean that freaky haunted Raggedy Ann doll that got that one movie? 
Yeah, no, she's not really my type. Plus, I'm pretty sure she's already dating Chucky. I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. Ugh. Gosh, do you mean Chucky from the Rugrats? Wow! Thank you, Millie Ass. Too infinite, very infinite. Can you please divorce Shadow so I can marry him instead? You see, divorce is quite a messy process, and it's taking quite a while. My lawyer said he was going to talk to his lawyer, but it's, uh, they're, they're doing a little bit of what's called hiding from me. As you can see, that could cause quite a bit of an issue. Thank you, Mr. Infinite. Happy Valentine's Day to your lawyers. Well, so far, so good. I haven't even had to beat anybody up. Come on, Amy. Let's see who else we can ask questions to for Cupid Queen. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day, everyone. everyone.